What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 3 of our career mode with Leeds United. Currently, that's where we sit in the table for the Champions League. Have not played a single game for the Champions League yet. We sit in 10th place in the Premier League with Spurs out in front with a total of 15 points. We're not doing too badly. We have 7 points and we've got a long way to go in this season. Our first game is in the Champions League. That is our starting 11 and there are our substitutions. And this is how we look on the pitch. We are taking on Marseille and this is their starting 11. They still have Mandanda in goal and there is their substitutions with Morgan Sanson on the bench. That's their starting 11 on the pitch. Deadly person up front is Bellotti and I'm a bit surprised to see Strootman in the midfield for them. We have the first opportunity of the game coming from a through ball from Rodrigo to Neto who easily puts it through the legs of Mandanda to put it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 Leeds United in our first Champions League game. You can just see how excited Neto and Rodrigo and our fans are from us going ahead in the first game of the Champions League. It was a beautiful through ball and run from Rodrigo to make space for Neto to actually run through and get in on goal to take on Mandanda one on one. Neto gets another opportunity a couple seconds later, absolutely removing the Marseille defender from the game. But Mandanda manages to pull off an excellent save to put it behind to keep it 1-0 Leeds United. Marseille get their first opportunity just before half time with Sakai running into the box. He's trying to find somebody and he doesn't. He takes on the chip shot, but Dubrovka manages to save it and we finally get the ball out of our box. Into the second half, it is the 50th minute and Calvin Phillips decides to have a thumping shot at it. Burke Mandanda stops it going in the back of the net yet again. Marseille have a chance in the 73rd minute from a run from their left winger finding Rangier in the middle of our penalty box and he manages just to slide it past Dubrovka and Medina to put into the back of the net to bring it a level game. We should be well ahead in this game. Mandanda has played exceptionally well for Marseille but We've just not been able to find that last finishing touch. He's always managed just to put it slightly wide. And this is very upsetting to see a pretty simple save that Mandanda definitely would have made himself. Somerville is not very happy that we are now drawing and he is plowing through looking for an opportunity. He picks out Neto and Neto finds a shot on target. But Mandanda puts it behind the goal yet again just can't get past him again and that is how the game ends it ends as a draw we looked very strong in this champions league first game that we've played and it's just a shame that that sloppy goal went in from marseille rangier played very well but mandanda was probably the man of the match Moving into match number two for today, we are taking on Everton in the Premier League. That is their starting 11, and we have Rodriguez, Gambamin, and Allen in the midfield with Cabral, Malin, and Barnes up front. Very deadly, as we saw in last season. This is our starting 11 and substitution to Provka holding his position in goal. Shackleton, Cock, Medina, and Sessegnon are in the back yet again. Phillips just in front of them with Rafinha, Gott, De Silva, and Harrison with Rodrigo up front. And there is our substitutions. A lovely run from Rafinha down the right-hand side. He's looking for someone in the middle of the box, but the goalkeeper manages to parry it out into the feet of Harrison, and he puts a beautiful shot on target into the top right hand corner with a little bit of curl on it and it gets past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0 Leeds United. A failed attempt to actually create this opportunity for Harrison and poor defending from Everton. I think they just thought that the goalkeeper would have parried it away, probably put it out for a corner, but he didn't. He put it in right into the path of Harrison who manages to pick out a beautiful shot into that top right hand corner to make it 1-0 Leeds United.
Rafinha is making a run forward again. He's looking for Rodrigo, who's running through the middle. He picks him out, and he puts into the back of the net to make it 2-0 Leeds United. We are playing exceptionally well, and Rafinha is back to his full form like he was before he got injured. And he is just showing what we were missing. We weren't playing so well in the last episode, but he just manages like to pull it back a little bit, allow for that run through from Rodrigo, and then a first time finish. Oh, sorry, he takes a little touch there, and then a blistering shot into the back of the net to make it 2 0. Got another opportunity coming from Rafinha. He manages to win the ball off of Ben Godfrey's feet and makes a run forward. He threw balls it to Rodrigo, and Rodrigo literally slides the ball past the goalkeeper into the back of the net to make it 3 0. These United. Somewhat of a dodgy pass to Rafinha from, I think it was Shackleton, unless Libertare has come on at this point. But it's just a lucky he could actually win it back and then he just has the pure pace to beat anyone in that foot race and then just slides it across to Rodrigo who then slides it past the goalkeeper beautiful goal beautiful link up play just amazing we have given away a penalty and James Rodriguez is not going to miss penalty from there Charisma came on for Cock because he was a bit tired because he'd been playing in the Champions League so Charisma has come on and he gave penalty away straight away and it is now 3-1 I'm pretty sure we got the win but it would have been nice to have had a clean sheet and it would have been very good for the confidence of Dubrovka to have that clean sheet but it's only the one goal and it's not going to do much to the scoreline and that's the end of the game we take the three points into the Premier League with three goals to one against Everton very good performance from all our players and a great result. For match number three we are in the Carabao Cup that is our starting 11 and substitutions a very different side giving a lot of our key players a rest and we've got some of our youth players coming in there like Eugene and Grotz. We are taking on Ipswich and this is their starting 11 and substitutions. Hopefully we will do very well with our side against this because they're uh, against Ipswich because they are a championship side and we are a Prem side, but they do have quite a few good players in there like in Dam. So we need to be a bit wary. The first opportunity of the game from a pass from Somerville to Grot and Grot puts into the back of the net to give us a one goal advantage over Ipswich. Beautiful run from Somerville down that right hand side and Grot was just waiting in the box for the ground pass to come to his feet and he could just easily pass it into the back of the net. But great creation from Somerville he's been playing exceptionally well today when he's come on as a substitution and he deserved this game to be his start and so did Grot and Grot has got straight onto the score sheet and probably will start attracting some buying clubs because he is up for sale Somerville making a run down that right hand side again he picks out Skov and Skov manages to chip it over to pick out Grot who puts it in the back of the net yet again to make it 2-0 Leeds United Ipswich can't really do anything against us to defend or anything they can't even get the ball forward they're really struggling and we're capitalizing on that the weakness of their defense there just let Grot run through really easily from one simple over the top through ball to his right oh left foot and he just puts it in the bottom right hand corner beautiful finish and a beautiful link up play another opportunity falling to Somerville putting a through ball to Neto and Neto just puts it into the back of the net to make it 3-0 Leeds United in the 74th minute beautiful run from Koulibaly to pick out Somerville and he just takes one touch to push it through to Neto and Neto just pushes it a little bit further into the back of the Ipswich net not much the goalkeeper could have done there tighter defending is needed from Ipswich they haven't really attacked but they've managed to get the ball through this time they put a cross in and Cresswell manages to put into the back of his own net to make it 3-1 Leeds United just this is the reason he doesn't really play and I'd rather play Phillips and Eugene as centre-backs he just 
makes mistakes like this and it's not very good and it was a great header to put it into the back of the net past Sherpin but he shouldn't have put it into the back of the net I don't know what he was thinking there but poor header and I feel sorry for Sherpin not having that clean sheet and the rest of the defence team not keeping a clean sheet either but we do take the win and we're through to the next round in the Carabao Cup and I wonder who we will get in the draw an exciting player to actually talk about at the end of this game is J. Roy Grot. Two goals, five shots on target, and he played exceptionally well getting in behind that defence. Whilst we have him, he will play in the cup competitions. We jump into our fourth and final match for today, and this is our starting eleven. We see Rafinha Phillips, Skov, De Silva and Harrison in the midfield with Rodrigo back up front. We do have Cock, Medina, Sessegnon and Shackleton in the defence. We are taking on Brighton. They have Matthew Ryan in goal, Wagyu, Clark, Mari, Byrne and Bernardo as their five defenders. Arnold and Basuma in the midfield. Alazate in the centre attacking mid and Baptisto as well as Al Jorge as their attackers. Sessegnor is looking for Rodrigo. He picks out a beautiful little pass and Rodrigo finds the top right-hand corner from the edge of the box to make it 1-0. Leeds United against Brighton and Hove Albion. Some poor defending left Rodrigo unmarked and pretty much through with a chance on goal from distance. And he's not going to really miss from there as the team should know. And Matthew Ryan looks sad, but it's a beautiful one-two between him and Sessegnon just to create that little bit of space for Rodrigo to get that shot off. And he does, and that's why we love him as our striker. We get another opportunity falling to a through ball to De Silva who takes the first shot and Matthew Ryan saves it but it's right back into the far of De Silva and he puts it into the back of the net to make it 2-0 Leeds United beautiful through ball from Skov to find De Silva there and then De Silva reacting quickly on his feet there to get that second shot off before even Matthew Ryan or even the, the Brighton defender reacting to get that ball out of the danger zone but they couldn't and he puts it into the back of the net Sessegnon is looking to put a defender on the score sheet today, but he does not manage to pick up a goal for himself. Matthew Ryan again parries the ball into the danger zone. And Rodrigo is there at the right time and in the right place to pick up the spilled ball, really, and put it into the back of the net to make it 3-0 Leeds United. We've just been playing exceptionally well and having players in those rebound areas and reacting quicker than the other, the opposing team. And we pick up those three points from this Brighton game. So we've taken six points from the Premier League, taken the one point from the Champions League, and we're into the next round of the Carabao Cup. It's been an excellent episode today, and I'll just show you where we sit in the league table, the Champions League table as well. In the Champions League table, we sit in third place, having drawn with Marseille. Dortmund have their win, and we are playing them next in the Champions League. We are up to sixth place in the Premier League with a total of 13 points. We have played one more game than Newcastle and Chelsea, so that could change ever so slightly. Spurs still out in front in first place, and Brighton are in last place, having only taken three points. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like to let me know that you have. If you've got any names of any young players, any ideas of how to change up this season, just drop it down in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this three season long career mode, please subscribe so you can keep up to date with the episodes. Thank you very much and ta-ra!